right, welcome to a match against our friend Rain. Let's see what he plays today. We are on a very nice Angel Stompy list from uh, Tobias from the Moxforge. We did some minor adjustments. Ah, this hand is very sweet. You can start with Swords of Plosures. Second turn, Ancient Tomb into Angel. And if nothing happens, third turn, we can flip it. So this is absolutely keep. And let's see how this will develop. Really interesting in the decklist rain place today. Okay. Upkeep in my uh, stop in my upkeep is a bit suspicious. I need to remove this first. This is just for port porting. And here it's for the Eternal Dragon, but we do not need this at this point of this game. Oh, discard turn one is sweet. Marble Diamond, you are a bit late to the party. I mean, having Exalted Angel flip next turn would have such a high impact. I really want to save this from a discard spell, but we could easily run into Vendetta. But I would be fine with that at that point of the game. And if we are able to flip this on turn 3, it is just huge. Okay, Asmeric Fiend. I'm feeling pretty confident with these two swords. It's a bit awkward that if I flip the angel now, I won't be able to secure the second sword from a discard spell or another Mesmeric Fiend. Mindstone is uh, interesting, but I'm not sure if I can do everything. So now I think it's best to go for Mindstone here. Then I would like to play the Factory. We have this active next turn. Get the Marble Diamond down. We are a bit open to a Vindicate next turn on our Angel, but I think it's the best play. If we just would have flipped this and we would have opened up for discard and for for vindicate so i think this is a bit more stable i might reach the point soon where i want to sacrifice a mindstone to draw some good stuff and i think we can even play a eternal dragon soon which i think we won't do because it's open to sorts of closure then Yeah, I think it's a Vindicate. What I really like uh, with the Mishra's factories is that they uh, you can secure your big threats against discard uh, discard um, against um, Diabolic Edict or Innocent Blood. Going to sort this. Seems like a fair deal. Oh, Sea of Cleansing. This was super lucky. So let's get the seal down here. Sorry for that. It came from top. But of course, this is give us nightmares. The Phyrexian Arena. Uh, okay, next, I would like to flip the angel. Okay, I need more white mana for that, I see. Um, do not have the sword open, but 
this shouldn't be a huge problem. Pretty nice to have the mana up to activate Mishra's factory against the edict effects. So I'm feeling pretty confident right now. But he has six cards in hand, so everything can happen. We are close to Hellbrand. So I think I need to cycle the Mind Stone soon. But we will see. Sometimes the Angel is enough to win a whole game. Okay, this card is fine. He gets a sword here, and more important, he gets no point of life. Because the verdict gives you three life for each land discarded this way. And keep in mind, if you play the verdict for yourself, there will be times where you are just um, keeping lands in your hand to get life later. It's very important. So you can discard three dead cards in the late game to get six life. And this is sometimes enough to get ahead in the game. Okay. Dust Bowl. Oh, man, these draws are broken. Not going to lie. Um, I want to see. This is maybe a bit aggressive. Um, if he has a sword to plowshares. Yes, swords on the angel, it's fine. We get four points of life. But in this case, I, I don't want to sacrifice the Mind Stone because I will be uh, vulnerable to discard again. And if he misses another land drop and we go for the Dust Bowl action, he could be in big trouble. And this is uh, the nice thing with the Misha's factories in the deck that you really can chip some damage in, secure your big creatures from edicts or block goblin lackeys and other creatures. Okay, Vindicate on Dust Bowl, important. One black up, I think. Okay, Swords, it's not great, but it could be great later. Let's see what the Mindstone reveals. Another Plains, it's fine. I uh, want to get that down. It's a bit odd, because we are running three Armageddon. But on the other hand, we really um, want to avoid him getting life with another Verdict. Okay, Nantuku Shade. Um, get rid of that immediately. Could be wrong if he slams an Angel later, but I want to keep the pressure up. Okay, I think I need to cycle the furnace immediately. And if we draw something good, we can just play it. So we'll snipe away uh, Gerard's verdict. And here we are. You okay, that's not great. At this point, I could make one soldier uh, later, but. I want to make more soldiers, so I will use the turn to attack here. If he has some discard for it, it's fine. I think with this tactic, making three soldiers, I could close the game a bit faster. And even if we cycle in response to discard, and we do not draw a creature or land, he will hit it with a duress. Okay, port is very strong. But the question is, do I want to port now to avoid the sword support shares? Uh, he hasn't had the sword last few turns. I can't drop a land for now. Don't know what's wrong with Magic Online. Now it is. Uh, yeah, let's keep up to sword. And in the upkeep, we will um, absolutely port the white mana. So here it's obvious because it's a dual land now, but even if he would have a planes in the swamp, I would port this to have the boost effects of 
Ah, this could be an, uh, another shadow. Yeah, this is strong. So. Shadow. Oh man, these draws. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I'm really sure you will see the game, but don't know what's, what's up here. Can't remember to ever draw this good, but we are still uh, vulnerable to a card like Exalted Angel as the morph next turn and then the flip later. And I think we just run all of sorts now, but I try to win it like this. Eternal Dragon would be a great draw. But he's missing so many land drops, it's not natural. Very odd. Okay, this is strong. I try to attack with a factory and force a block. Okay, this changes the math. So I could make one angel. That's not enough for me. But I could make four token. But then I can't port. But I think I need to try it like this. So no porting action here. Really want to get a I for one from this. Yeah, Duras, hopefully we draw land. But Duras means that he can't... Ah, he could have an angel. So let's just wait. Eternal Dragon, Exalted Angel or land would be great. Every other card he uh, will hit with the Duras. But I think it's a pretty great clock. Yeah, this was very lucky. It's not great to get a random planes here, but it's better than him hitting our card in hand with any card. Okay, this was another addition I made to the deck. Um, in this case, the uh, temporal, I don't know the correct name, the card from Uza Saga where you blindly flip cards could be great. Okay, let's get this down. I can take some more damage here. Okay, this is enough. Yeah, we grew so great. It was very annoying for my opponent. Okay, this is a value-based matchup. Dust Bowl seemed great in the spot, but I don't think if it is. Windborne Muse seems a bit weak because he's so controlish. I think Armageddon is one of the greatest cards. Disenchant is fine against uh, a Phyrex in Arena. Masticore is not great, I guess. Because you need to discard into this. I think we want the Dust Bowl the second one. Not sure about the Windborne Muse and not sure about the Marble Diamond. I mean they provide some very quick starts but they are annoying top decks compared with a Mind Stone. And every other card is great. Maybe I'm mis-evaluating the Musty Core for now and I should get rid of some Windborne Muse Put the Musty Core here. Because the Musty Core can shoot uh, down uh, with the Wretched. And then, if we have enough mana, we can make a combination of Eternal Dragon and Musty Core. So, I think I will submit it like this or change one Furnace for an Enlightening Tutor. Because we really need some answers to. Yeah, I think one furnace has to go because I'm not sure if he has a eternal dragon plan in his uh, main deck. And I want the enlightening tutor to have the ability to get a seal of cleansing really quick if he uh, resolves the Phyrex in arena. And the cool thing with the enlightening tutor is that you can um, play it in response to discard and hide the card you have uh, wished for on the top of your deck. But it could be a bit misleading because um, it's card disadvantage. I think this hand is, is weak to turn one arena. 
but we can't be too optimistic about mulligans because there will be the games where you take a mulligan and he will go discard double discard discard and you lose without him having an arena so i try to keep this again we need to remove the stop in his upkeep okay Duris on decree probably he can play around the parallax wave pretty well ah on sword okay so he might have a ah this is great so let's do it again turn to angel turn three hopefully flip maybe i want to get the parallax wave down before to secure the angel ritual on hippie this is strong really need to find a card and he has a sorts of plowshares up there really need to find a card like sorts of plowshares dust ball okay i'm a bit behind here so i try the angel hope to dodge any removal and if he attacks with hippie and does not hit the wave we might yeah let's just wait we can't anticipate too much okay not great for us but Okay, Mesmeric Fiend will get the wave here. And I'm not sure if I keep this behind, then we are pretty weak to Vindicate. Or if I attack. Okay. So if we attack, we get two life in this exchange, because this will do us two damage. He will attack, get one of these cards. I think we need to try it because we are so weak against every removal he can draw. So let's try a damage race here. Yeah, there was a sword even before connecting. So I guess everything was right. Otherwise, he can't attack with the Fiend, because we could cycle that, but... Okay, not great, but it's not over now. So we can't attack with the Fiend yet. The Verdict, I need to cycle this in response. We are pretty far behind. So let's try to top deck a parallax wave or a muse. Maybe I need another muse in the main deck again. So he will have a six turn clock now if we don't activate the tomb again. But besides that,
Yeah, pretty bit position right now, but uh, there might be a top deck like Parallax Wave, and then we can activate Wave, keep priority, and exile his creatures forever. And this might be a shot for the game. But we are in a bad position. Maybe we need to bring the Wrath of God in. Because this will evolve into a top deck game pretty quickly. He probably has another arena here. What's a great addition to the deck? Okay, another seal of cleansing. So my plan is still alive to draw another wave. But we really need some stuff here. Yeah, I asked myself where it uh, went wrong. I think it were pretty decent draws, but just the hypnotic specter without an answer is tearing us apart. But this happens sometimes. This came turn two, I guess, with a dark ritual after turn one duress. Yeah, this is a classical way to lose the game. Yeah, it's it's great that he ports planes now because I can't activate the tomb. Sword would be great. Okay, Musty Core. I don't want to show this. It's a bit late to the party. Okay, just a classical way to lose against a Spectre. But our start was great. So, Furnace can be cut. I do want some more Bros of God and the Windborn Muse. Um, and Lighting Tutor is still okay. Because it finds a wave. I'm not sure about the Armageddon plan, because he's just so aggressive on his own. I think I might cut one Armageddon and one Degree. And this should be a nice setup. Yeah, I like the adjustments uh, you made to the deck, Rain. <clears throat> Seems better than a classical dead guy ale. This is horrible. We do not have an answer for Ignotic Spectre, so I take a mulligan here. <clears throat> this is a bit better. I try to get rid I get rid of this one. Okay, and then I will lead with the planes. Hopefully, if he has a dark ritual, then he will pop out the Phyrex in Arena with the ritual and not the Hypnotic Spectre, because this, this seems like an answer. Okay, this is nice. So no swords to player shares from his side. I go for the angel. We do not have second white now. There might be a time where we want to tutor a marble diamond, but I think this is too weak. I want to set a stop in my upkeep now. If he ports white here, I will go for the marble diamond. Okay, port for this. I won't activate to uh, play tutor now, but I will go with my own port. And I'm not sure. I think I will port his swamp or the port. Not sure. I think Swamp is better. So if he just ports, and maybe he goes for the planes then, I will go for Enlightening Tutor. Probably for Mindstone. Ship priority. Okay, white. Now the Enlightening Tutor is in a great spot. But what will we search? So the good thing with Marble Diamond is we could play this. 
and have mana up to flip this. I guess that's right. The another play would be to find Mindstone and have porting mana up. But I want this to get white mana again. This would be great if this would enter untapped. So worst thing that could happen would if he has white mana and starts porting in our upkeep, we flip the angel and he just have a sword or another removal. This would uh, leave us pretty far behind. Okay, ritual here, maybe is um, Spectre, yes. Spectre with double port up soon, okay. Need to think if I want to. Let's see what he wants to port. Okay, here I want to really flip the angel. Spectre is still scary. Oh, seal is not great. Same question again. Do I want to attack? I think I want. Of course, the life points could be pretty crucial to win this game. So the problem is if I keep this behind and he has a removal, which he probably has in form of Vindicate or sorts of closures, we are missing on four extra life. And if he plays Vindicate, this means he can just port once. Hope the Windborn Muse survives here. To mess a bit with his mana. Okay, this was bad. Really hope to discard a Disenchant or Seal. Yeah, here's a white mana for Vindicate. Ardurat's Verdict. Uh, I want to keeps the decree I guess and if he ports an upkeep I cycle this for two or I might let's see what he tries to port okay I think I just want to cycle this for zero it's a bit weak to edict effect effects, but I want to draw something cool to play. Okay, this is fine. Okay, he skipped my second um, main, because I clicked too fast, I guess. He was on yield. So this is pretty bad. He got the angel now. So everything just do to one misclick. The problem was here I still was in block and he was in uh, on auto yield. And for that reason, as I passed priority on block, he skipped my whole uh, main phase. Yeah, I just wrote him. Don't wonder. Skip my whole second main phase. This angel should be in play. But these are the test games for. So if you want to play big tournaments with uh, Magic Online, just never uh, do the skip. Just do it step by step. We need a Wars of God here or a Parallax Wave is fine. I might wait some 
turns with that if we do not have an answer for that because if we would draw a seal we could uh, remove them from the game for a long time or forever so him having vindicate would be strong okay really need some something now but after my top decks game one i won't be mad drawing some bad cards here triple port is strong but the seal is still a plan Okay, own port is fine. So here I want to tap planes. I wait one or two more turns because I really want to get rid of these forever. So now he can just do a double double port which is fine for me i think he will go for my ports i could float some mana here but this will absolutely be the same. Okay. We do have some life draws. This is one. So I want to show you here how this works. I don't know, I think we still can wait. Might be a bit risky here. So we might take some damage. I need to think a second about this. So if we take four here and he has any creature follow up, this will be a problem. So I want to untap one turn. Okay, then still no need for me to do it right now. Okay, he will do triple porting action again. But if he has a follow-up creature next turn... Okay, triple port. Probably on, I don't know. But here I want to float mana now. Uh, tap the swamp. He will port in any way, but... Yeah, the ports on each side is really interesting. But we lost the game, I think, at the point where Modo skipped the second main phase. Okay, give me something cool, please. Not great, but not super bad. Give some, gives us something to do against the porting action. So, if he attacks, I will explain it. Question is, do I wait if he wants to go for lethal? I don't think so. So here you really need to um, keep priority. And you can see here, keeping priority in Magic Online is while pressing control. So we, you keep priority, uh, activate Parallax Wave on the Hypnotic Spectre. 
activate it on another creature and then you sacrifice the seal on your own wave. So what happens now if you let it resolve, you let the seal resolve, a second ability or a third ability resolves first. When it leaves the battlefield, each player returns to the battlefield all cards they own, which were exiled. This happens, and now the second ability resolves, so his creatures stay exiled. But we are in absolute trouble. He has five cards in hand. Probably has just some follow-up here. Uh, Angel is strong. Another Hypnotic Spectre. Okay, we need uh, Wrath of God now. But he just have one planes. But the shade is a problem. Okay, Dust Bowl is very bad. Activate port. port. Factory is not great. He can just port it. So we lost like this. Really want to know in a parallel universe how the game would went if we just morph the angel and Modo wouldn't skip the second main. So great match.